We're going to be covering the back and forth between Colby Covington and Ian Gary. A few days ago, Colby Covington put out a video trying to promote the fight, potential fight between himself and Ian Gary. He tried to entice Ian Gary to respond. Ian Gary responded saying he'll respond in his own time, which was absolutely pathetic. And then less than 24 hours from putting that video out, he's gone and responded. So we're going to take a look at those videos today and just break them down a little bit. Here's to the fighters, the fans and the game. Here's to the blood, sweat and tears and the fame. And here's to as in key, you're ready to go on the brutally honest. MMA show. Greetings, nerds and virgins. It's America's champ, the people's champ, Donald Trump's favorite fighter. We're in beautiful, sunny South Florida. Not so sure if he's the favorite fighter anymore. Colby, he has walked out twice on you now. Most people, they work 60 years just to get a taste of the good life. This is what I live every day. We just shot 18 holes at Trump International, West Palm Beach. <laughs> I know, I know Guru said about this face, but how can you not comment on this face? Like, fucking hell. It's, uh, it's like a Mr. Beast video, isn't it? Like, the fucking thumbnails that he puts out. Like, shocked and surprised. Now we're out here. Well, it's like he's just seeing a cock in the background and he's like, ooh. <laughs> I mean, Colby Covington talks about fucking Ian Gary, but... I mean, that that's, uh, it's pretty gay. Selling on seven figures and salty nerd tears. Usually when you're out here, it's all about fishing. Everybody knows when you're going fishing, it's important to have the right bait. So let me teach you all a lesson about how you bait someone. Ian Gary, you translucid cut. You want to... <laughs> pretty, pretty uh, big whiz for Colby there. Translucent cook. <laughs> My attention, now you got it. Everybody knows why you want to fight me, Ian. I'm the biggest star in the division. It's big city, bright lights, and the most attention and I... I mean, he's talking about Ian Gary wanting to fight Colby, but let's remember the press conference when he was fighting uh, Leon Edwards. He was the one calling out Ian Gary. He was already setting up this next fight, perhaps because he already thought he'd lost to Leon Edwards or he was going to lose to Leon Edwards. He was already planning and putting the work into that next fight and lining it up like his promotion and his his foresight into planning the the next fight is quite impressive despite him being absolutely fucking terrible with these stupid cringe as fuck uh, edits that he puts out as you're ever gonna have on you win a fight but everybody knows ian you missed your chance you had your chance in december to step on the same stage as me and have a microphone and say whatever you want to say to me but you were scared you were scared of what I was going to say to you, and you got the sniffles, and you cried your way out. That was just a taste of what I could do to you, Ian. All I did was ask the 5,000 people in attendance how many people banged your wife. <laughs> I mean, th there we go. Like, he was already lining up that next fight. He, he was in a fight. He was supposed to be fighting and concentrating on uh, Leon, Leon Edwards. He wasn't being asked about Ian Gary. No one was asking Colby about Ian Gary. He was putting it out there. He was... He was using it to promote himself and to set up that next fight. It's not my fault every single one of them rose their hand. If you're scared of that, Ian, if you're scared of words, what do you think it's going to be like when you step in a steel cage with chaos? You just went life and death with a guy that does this part time and is a busboy out back. Dude serves blooming onions for a living. And you went to a split decision with that guy? Now you want Donald Trump's favorite fighter? That's a big step up in competition, Junior. You're biting off more than when you can chew. You know what? I'm a giving man. I'm a kind man. I like to give everyone a chance. So everybody... He's a giving man. He's a kind man. Great. That's, that's great, Colby. Everybody knows, him. what's in it for you. But what's in it for me? Tell me, why do I gotta go down in the rankings to fight some Casper the Ghost-looking Irish kid who has a gold-digging wife? I mean, it's interesting that he's, he's reversing this onto uh, Ian Gary at this point. I know Ian Gary called him out, but Colby was setting this fight up way before. I don't even think that he was on Ian Gary's radar at that point, And now he is because he's he started going after his family, his wife. Like any man, they don't want to settle the score with that kind of shit. Let me teach you the art of the deal, Ian. Let's come to a compromise. If you can meet these three stipulations... We got to fight. Stipulation number one, you and that gold digging whore got to turn your Instagram comments back on. And if you turn them off before the fight, you forfeit the fight. If you, I do agree with that. 
Um, anyone who's in this kind of game or social media game and they're using it as a marketing tool or try to uh, get any kind of ad revenue, they should have the comments turned on. I don't think anyone should be adverse to criticism, especially Ian, Gary and Layla who've put themselves out there. She's inserted herself right in the middle of MMA media. She, she doesn't deserve the eight, but some of the criticism and some of some of it, they, they can't ignore. They've got a, a role to play in it. So I agree with Colby there. He needs to turn the comments back on, which he has done. Turn them off during fight week or after I beat your ass, you forfeit your purse. Stipulation number two. Ian, we've heard you cry and beg on your knees, but we all know that you're not the boss and you don't wear the pants in the relationship. Layla, you got 60 seconds to convince me and the people why this fight needs to happen. So put your husband in the corner, get on your hands and knees, and beg. Now for... <laughs> I mean... I don't know why he's trying to stay, well, he's trying to stay the pot. He's trying to bring Layla's name back into it again, just to entice and promote it a, bit, a little bit more. But we know that Colby wants to fight just as much as, as, as fucking Ian Gary. And um, I don't think anyone needs to beg Colby. I think it, he'd, he'd sign that contract in a fucking heartbeat. After his last fight and his last performance, it was absolutely dog shit. I think he's going to be he's going to be the one who signs the contract way before Ian Gary. He's probably already signed the contract and he's just waiting for Ian Gary to try and entice him into into the fight. Stipulation number three, my personal favorite. As you all might have noticed, something's been missing from my MyBookie promos lately. That's because I've been saving that spot for a special someone. Layla, you want to be a star? You want the spotlight? I got it for you, sweetie. You want your 15 seconds of fame, Layla? I'll give you your 15 seconds of fame. Right, I, d I don't know what this fist is about. I don't know whether... I'll give you 15 seconds of fame. Is he going fist or is he going to go all fucking John Jones on her and fucking beat the shit out of her? I'm not quite sure what the fist means at this point, but we'll find out. Right here for America's Pick of the Week. After I beat your... I mean, he's still not explained. It's, he's just raised the fist. Maybe he's talking about... Well, he, he pointed that this is for Layla. Out foot knows what he's trying to do. Husband, because that's a foregone conclusion. I will beat him. He I mean, oh, he's still holding the fist up. <laughs> I mean, the awkwardness of just holding that up. It's, uh, it's like scratching a fucking chalkboard. He's going to sit in the corner just like he does with all that oh, stuff you guys he's still do. Holding it. He's going to watch while you get your 15 seconds. Oh, why does he keep looking at his fist? <laughs> Is he is he imagining beating? I don't know what what the it represents. Is he thinking of fisting her? Is he thinking of beating Ian Gary? Is he thinking of fucking beating Layla? What what what's the what's he getting at here? Same. Balls in your court now, cuck boy. I'll have my lawyers draft up the papers. You got twenty four hours to respond. We'll okay, so he said he's got twenty four hours to respond, and then we'll shoot over to Ian Gary's page where he he posted this um, after a few days after. Um, the Colby video dropped. I respond in my own time. Don't rush me. You got. Uh, don't rush me. And then less than twenty four hours, uh, which was probably pre filmed, pretty pretty much as soon as he dropped that video. He Colby to respond. You are in no position to tell me what I should be doing in life. You'll do as you're told. And kill. And kill. And kill. You gave me three stipulations, all of which had nothing to do about fighting, but we're all talking about my wife. Layla, 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 get on your hands and knees and beg. I don't know how you were raised, but women are- I mean, one, one of them was to turn the comments back on, and I'm pretty sure on one of the videos he has turned them back on. We'll, we'll check that out. I'm pretty sure he did. I'm property and my wife definitely ain't no trophy. You should be focusing on me. I'm the one who's in that octagon with you. I'm the one who's going to punch a hole in your head. So stop swerving me. I mean, I, I can't remember the last time uh, Ian Gar Gary punched a hole in anyone's head. And keep Layla's name out your mouth. How many of you guys have fucked Ian Gary's wife? You're not America's favorite fighter. What you are is a peak underperformer. You're the only person in UFC history to lose three world title fights. And you haven't got a single win. I mean, he's got a point there. He has got a point. He has lost three title fights. And he looked absolutely fucking trash in his last fight. But responding in, the, in this way is just... Uh, 
after saying he'll take he'll respond in his own time whenever he wants and then responding in this way it just feels it just feels very like he's under Colby Covington's form it doesn't feel like he's really protecting his wife and he's going I'm going fucking kill you keep it like he's just oh it feels like he's on the defense and it, it goes through me against anybody in the top 15 right now so Kobe why should I fight you oh I he knows why he should fight him I don't know why he's saying why should I fight you it's a it's a apparently it's an easy fight for him so there's e easy fight the promotions there he's talking about your wife he's made it personal there, there's a reason to have that fight it's, it'll propel him up the rankings he doesn't want to fight any of the top contenders he wants to at least he's always had this plan that he wants to gradually go up the rankings and fight people always above him, just a few spots above and before he gets that title shot. He's always said that. So Col Colby's above him. It makes sense. The fight makes sense. The promotional makes sense. The money makes sense. Um, Ian Gary's trying to pretend like he's the, the A side at this point. And I still don't think he is. I, I feel like... Even though Colby was trash in his last fight, and um, he's he didn't he didn't look good, and Ian pro will probably beat the guy, but I still feel like Colby holds a lot of the cards inside the promotional, the the marketing. Um, I think out of the two, he's probably the more favoured, popular fighter out of the two. I can think of one reason. I challenge you to an I quit match where one of us has to say I quit. I mean, I don't know why he's gone all WWE on his ear with uh, I quit matches, but we 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 both know that we all know that that would never happen. So I don't know why he's going down this route. It's not WWE. It's a bit cringe. And whoever says the words I quit has to retire gloves off, sent to the I mean, typically you, you'd go down the route of I want to smash him. I want to kill the guy. I want to put him in a fucking grave. I want to smash him so bad that no one can recognize his face. I want to drop elbows on his skull. No, Ian Gary's gone down the route of WWE Fantasyland and said, I want to uh, have an I quit match, something that will never happen in the UFC, and put out some little gay WWE videos, which uh, to promote is his side of the battle. I'm sayonara, my friend. I'm going to be the final chap. Which wouldn't make sense on the UFC's part if uh, Ian Gary did make. Colby Covington quit. Let's go down that fancy land. Like he, he, potentially, if uh, the UFC were slightly open to it, they're not going to cut one of their own fighters, are they? It doesn't make too much sense for them to just uh, kill someone's contract. In your legacy of failure, I am going to rid the UFC of Colby Covington for good, and I'm going to make MMA great again. Listen. I can't believe he's gone down the let's make MMA great again. Uh, fucking, oh, it's a bit fucking cringe, boys. It's cringe. And he put out another video. Listen here, Kobe Chaos Covington. You are in I no... I don't know why it is. He, he's, he's put out another video with trying to sell, like, fucking hats or something. Make America great again hats. It's just all a bit... It's, it's, too, it's getting too much. It's getting too much. So I want the fight. It'll be good promotional, especially when they face-to-face. Um, Ian Gary will keep pointing out these cringe videos, so will Colby, but when they get into these uh, press conferences, these media days, we know that Colby will always ramp it up, he'll say something completely out of line, he'll try push buttons and escalate things, and I think he'll get he'll get the reactions that he wants from Ian Gary, I think when they face to face, when they're in that press conference, he'll get the reactions that he wants from him, and let me know your thoughts. Drop a comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.